Yep, that's right. So let's take a look back at Carney's tenure, though, because he will be stepping down in March, handing over the reins to Angie Bailey, as was announced just a month ago. Uh, let's start in July 2010, which is formally when uh, Carney took over. Just a month later, the Bank of England introduced something called forward guidance, a bit of a break from his predecessor, Mervyn King, there, saying that rates were going to be on hold for as long as the unemployment rate was above 7% and they didn't see signs of wage growth. Well, in subsequent months, the employment rate started dropping, unemployment rate started dropping, wage growth picked up, which prompted the Bank of England governor in June 2014 to give that very famous mansion house speech saying that the first rate hike could happen sooner than markets currently expect. That came with a bit of a hawkish surprise to the markets, which also prompted a Treasury Select Committee member, the Labour MP Pat, Pat McFadden, to liken Carney to an unreliable boyfriend. And fortunately for the governor, that is a term that stuck with him. And the reference there was that he was sometimes hot on the economy, sometimes cold on the economy, but clearly was guiding towards rate hikes. Well, the rate hike never actually materialized because as we know, the country was gripped by discussions over what would happen on a Brexit and indeed in June 2016 we had that Brexit referendum. The Bank of England had previously put out multiple forecasts, a prognosis on what would happen to the economy were Brexit to materialize one of the criticisms that was leveled at the bank at the time. August 2016 may be their most controversial move yet. That interest rate cut from 50 basis points to 25 basis points was met with a lot of backlash at the time because it was perceived to be political. The Bank of England justified it by saying they were doing a preemptive rate cut uh, to ensure the economy kept ticking even post-Brexit. And you can see here, October 2016 was the first time that Carney's tenure got extended. Now, interestingly enough, only about a year later, the Bank of England actually reversed the cut post-referendum and they hiked rates back from 25 basis points to 50 basis points, also guiding to limited and gradual rate hikes in the future. People assumed that that meant two to three hikes a year wasn't actually the case. It took them another year to hike to 75 basis points, and obviously rates have been there ever since. Some mixed signals on the economy, uh, but recently the signs and the language coming out of various MPC members, including Mr. Carney himself, are a little bit more cautious on the outlook here. And the latest uh, guidance suggests that they may be pointing towards maybe one last cut at tomorrow's press conference. So all eyes on that. But we do know that uh, uh, for Mr. Carney, his uh, pet project is climate change. And after that, after he steps down, he will be uh, going to be, uh, well, working as a finance advisor for the UN Climate Change Conference okay. in Glasgow once this conference. Hi, I'm Giovanna Bersecchi, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.